uh, pork stew with the uh, herb dumplings. I'll get onto the dumplings uh, in a minute, but first of all, let's get the stew rolling. I'll run through the ingredients. I've got 250, about 225 to 250 grams of pork, can't remember which. I've got two rashers of streaky bacon, which I've chopped up into these pieces. I've got two cloves of garlic, uh, which again I've chopped up. I've got, what's that, a couple of cups of carrot, a couple of cups of swede or rutabaga. Uh, I've got a, uh, about half a, a, a fairly large onion there, chopped up into fairly large pieces. I've got about twice the volume of carrot as cabbage. This is a Savoy cabbage. And I've got one potato, which I've just cut up into pieces. I don't, I don't take the skin off potatoes these days. Not uh, unless the recipe particularly calls for it. And that's just soaking in some vinegar and water to stop the uh, potato going brown on me. Right, you may have your eyes on this. This is a, what we call soup mix in the UK. I think they also have it in Canada. And it's a mixture of pearl barley, red and green split peas, and um, also yellow split peas. So it, it's just a, a sort of an even mix of all those things. And the pearl barley gives a fantastic texture. Uh, just out of interest, I get this from wholefoodsonline.co.uk. Uh, they're not sponsoring me in any way. I just think they do great products. Right, I've got 400 uh, mils of chicken stock, which is about 12 ounces. You can use um, beef stock if you like, or a mixture of both. Uh, the, the actual liquid content doesn't matter. I've just made it up from a stock cube, that one. And additionally, and this is going to feature in this dish, and this is my own uh, herb meat rub. So I'll, I'll actually be using that as a seasoning. It's a good table seasoning as well, and the recipe for that will be in the description below this video. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, I'm going to apologise for the sound because I'm running my dishwasher at the moment. Uh, sorry, it can't be avoided. Okay, the first thing I want to do is get a bit of beef dripping into my pot. A couple of teaspoons, maybe a tablespoon. Get that into the pot and get that melted up. You can also use a, a tablespoon of oil. Okay, once that's nicely uh, hot, we need to get in the pork. And I just want to get that in and give it a little brown before I move on. Into that also goes my bacon. That'll inject a bit more flavour into it. And I'll keep that stirring until the meat's browned. Okay, now that's starting to brown nicely. Into that, I'm going to put in my garlic and the onion. And we're building a flavour bomb here. And I just give that a stir to incorporate everything. And you've got to keep it moving because you don't want the garlic or the onion to burn. At this stage, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of um, my seasoning. Many thanks to my sponsor Mr Paul for helping me bring you this video. Thank you very much my friend. Okay boys and girls I have an apology to make. I uh, made a bit of a mistake there and I thought I was recording when I wasn't. Uh, all I did was at the end of that uh, last sequence I added all the vegetables, all my remaining ingredients to the pot stirred it around a bit and then added in stock 400 mils of chicken stock and then I topped it up to the level of the vegetables to the level you see now and uh, all I need to do now is bring that to a boil and then lower it down to a simmer and simmer that for about 45 minutes with the lid on. So uh, now for the dumplings I've got two cups of self-raising flour, 
and into that I'm putting another teaspoon of my spice mix and that's enough to season all the dumplings. So that's a herb mix and it's a spice mix. Got a bit of garlic in it as well. Into that I've got 50 grams of butter which I'm just going to work in with my fingertips until I've got a fine crumb. You can also do this in your mixing bowl uh, with your mixer, your food mixer if you wish. Now I've got no suet for these dumplings so I'm doing it the butter method and doing it the butter method means uh, I, I just want to make the dumplings a little bit smaller so I, I do them more squash ball size than um, tennis ball size if you know what I mean. Then you rub that in until it's like until it looks a bit like sand. And as you're rubbing it in you get to this stage where it packs together but it crumbles easily. Okay to make up the dumplings we're going to pour a little bit of water in, mix it in and we want to get a kind of rather loose dough so add in a bit more water and it starts to come together like that still a bit of dry down there so add a little bit more water until it all starts to lift and then it comes away from the walls of the mixing bowl as well. You don't want to over mix it, it just wants to be about there. Now that's ready to put in as dumplings. Okay back to the stew, give it a taste test. That's good, don't need to adjust much there. But uh, for colour and for a little bit more umami flavour, I'm adding in some tomato paste or tomato puree. About a dessert spoonful of tomato puree. We're not turning this into a tomato sauce, we're just adding a bit of extra umami flavour to it. And as you stir, you'll see the potatoes start to break up. And the soup mix is helping to thicken it as well. So we're about 15 minutes from the end of the cooking time. So now it's time to get in our dumplings. And all I'm doing is taking the dumpling mix a teas teaspoon at a time and dropping it in, rolling it up. And dropping it in. Now these are going to swell up and they just go straight into the soup, straight into the stew and it makes a light bready kind of dumpling. It's not, um, it's not like gnocchi or Caribbean dumplings. It's more bread like. And I just carry on until all my mix is used up. Okay, once you've got all those in, all you need to do is put the lid on and let it continue simmering. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh wow, look how they have swollen up and taken over. Now you can see why I didn't put any more potatoes in because I didn't need to. Because we've got lots and lots of gorgeous fluffy dumplings to enjoy. Right, I'm just going to uh, serve this up and let you have a look at that. Okay guys, if you want to help the channel, then you can like, subscribe and share and tell all your friends. Um, if you'd like to help uh, with a the donation, there's um, links below to Subscribestar and to PayPal. And there's also, for YouTube viewers only, there's the Super Thanks button just below this video. Thank you very much. Thanks in advance. 
Okay. Into the bowl. A bit more of that lovely stew. And I think just to crown it off, a nice little sprinkle of dried parsley, just to make it look kind of posh. Pork stew with herby dumplings. Enjoy. <laughs> 